Hello Scorpios and welcome to your January 2022 reading. So I want to wish you a great new year. May it be filled with love and light and aspirations and healings and joy and whatnot. So there you go. Happy New Year. All right. So I meditated on your energy. And what spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first card that I have is the Knight of Cups. And now the Knight of Cups is all about this is what I love. This is what fulfills me emotionally. And this is what I'm bringing. So it's the act of bringing and following what we love and the path it will take. And the capacity to actually also receive a cup from a Knight of Cups. Okay, somebody that just brings it like that. So it's always on both sides here. Um, after that, I have the moon. So what that tells me is that that gesture, that uh, following your heart here, was kind of in the moon. So as soon as it's in the moon, it's a question of, okay, there's old stuff coming up to the surface. Um, what do I do with it? I cannot rely on anything I see outside. I can only take this inner decision or process or whatever. Okay. And then after I have the star. So looking at this, there's like a beautiful inner reflection in order to come out with the alignment and of course the star is Aquarius and so if you just take like this this is following one's purpose uh, what you know truly vibrates their soul and they are willing to trust in it and let go of any old emotional baggage that would prevent them from being completely aligned so that Scorpio is beautiful under the Knight of Cups, well, we have our Two of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. So I'm not surprised because that means it's that was part of your moon quest. Okay, how maybe you juggled and you disempowered yourself. Uh, Seven of Swords can be procrastination. Oh, this is my dream. This is what I want to do. But I can't because of dot 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 and we have you know seven arguments that disempower us completely so we keep you know juggling we um you know jupiter and capricorn so and bottom of the deck is capricorn so here you're we're, you're facing what um uh, was preventing you to be truly on your path let's say okay and then under that I have death, which is Scorpio, which is you, and that is beautiful because we see that there's this transformation in the movement of what you bring forward, how you bring yourself forward out there. The moon, okay? Uh, right away under the moon, what do we have? The ace of sword and the sun. So you see that clarity on what was hidden on uh, you know when you look at the moon you have this big lobster coming up lobster uh, yes it's the, you you have the story of um, you know the the principle of your soul needing your reality to expand and also you can see that during the period of the moon the lobster being you know a bottom feeder it's like, oh, what was in the bottom of my subconscious water, okay, is coming up to the surface to look around, to be addressed. And then when it comes up to the surface, that means maybe, you know, all the ways I used to disempower myself and what makes me juggle, uh, it's there to be addressed. Who's going to address it? My ego or my higher self? Am I going to owl at the moon and be all freaking out about it? Or am I actually going to take the path of transformation, which is 
your specialty. So, because when you look at the moon, you see those two pillars? They are right there in the background of the death card. And so this is just a continuation. First, these things come up from the water, you being a water sign. And then with death, you purify them. You uh, let them go, let them die, because they have done their purpose. So under the sun and the ace of sword, I have the high priestess. So look at that beautiful connection with your soul, with who you truly are. Not letting, letting the mechanics of, well, uh, you know, uh, this is what I've learned because I've went through this and now I think like that. So you are not just that. You are something higher than this. And here, you're seeing it clearly. Clarity on your shadow. Okay, there it is. So under the star, that will allow you, Six of Swords, to turn the page. Turn the page on whatever was making you act, feel, be Two of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Turning the page. Use because, oh my God, now I see truly who I am. I am aligned. I'm letting go of all of that. Two cards of letting go of choppy waters. Okay? And here, and that is beautiful. Strength, the chariot, and the page of wands. There you go, starting and full speed. A brand new path from... Because you will have risen above whatever this is for you, Scorpio. So a beautiful healing and then a propulsion into, yes, this is who I am. This, this is going to be my new way of bringing my fire. Okay, let's clarify this for Scorpio. This is beautiful. All right. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Scorpios for the month of January 2022. Sometimes we don't know how we juggle or how we disempower ourselves. Until, that's it, the light is shown on the shadow. So this is a bit like, this is what you're going to realize this month. And that is going to free you so much. Okay. So, oops, three of pentacle. Ah, okay. And here I have the queen of cups. So, that's you, of course. And it's all a question of actually going and seeing inside what is recorded in our waters. Everything is recorded in our waters until we purify it. Okay? Every memory, every uh, impression that we had. And here we have the Five of Pentacles. So every memory of abandonment, of not being supported, of feeling alone, I'm alone to do that, uh, feeling not enough, and so on. That's the Five of Pentacles. Um, you're going to look at it. And here I have the Knight of Wands. Because in a way, it's like if... Uh, see, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands... Um, Without having the Five of Pentacles here, when it comes to building your life and so on, uh, this would be like, whew, I'm following what I feel with my intuition and I'm going for it and here and now with no regards. But with this and the Five of Pentacles, your drive, your risk-taking part, 
of yes, I'm going to put myself out there kind of thing is very diminished because of the feeling of disempowerment, the juggling, like, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, you know, go and whatever, follow my path. But at the same time, I feel I don't have what it takes to do it. So you're not moving. Let's look at the moon here. So maybe the end of a period of the moon for you. Yes. Temperance. So that means that it's a question of being emotionally ready to see the bigger picture and heal from what was in the moon. Knight of Swords, so not only the Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Oh my God, I see exactly my demon. I see exactly how I bought his lies. I see exactly how I fed him all these years. I see him exactly how I let myself be disempowered, how I let myself juggle without never being like, you know, completely aligned. Queen of Pentacle, it had to do with um, that is self worth. That's that inner knowing that we have all that it takes to, you know, accomplish whatever it we, we want. A Queen of Pentacle um, in her power, for her, it's normal to be, you know, supported, that it's safe, it's secure. I'll always make it anyway. She looks at her worth and her value and she knows it. So what was distorted about you, about that part of you, you're going to see clearly now and now you're going to have the energy to move past it, the star, by throwing away, by releasing the waters that you don't need anymore. And here, okay, so right away, we have the Six of Sword, Six of Sword, Devil, Devil. These two cards here, right here, Six of Sword, Devil. Moving away, turning the page from what was a source of anxiety and the understanding that you are getting will actually, will a fortune, turn your matrix around, okay? So... Because if not, it's just repeating the same story with different faces until we get it. And now you're going to get it. Oh my God. I see my demon now. Let's end. Of course, here, Seven of Wands, it kind of rendered, uh, Seven of Pentacles, it rendered your, uh, you know, your activities in, you know, I'm paying the bills, I'm doing my due diligence, but I'm not feeling the accomplishment, the fruits that I'm supposed to feel. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Four of Swords. So, okay. There was probably a period of... I'm trying to understand those disappointments that were the results of these dynamics here okay a lot of disappointments and things like that and what that was doing four of swords is a, a energy that does not move where okay it can be a much needed rest for a little while to resource we're not moving but uh, at one point we need to get out of it and you're finally going to get that clarity that's going to help you get out of it so at that point that eight of wands with this was reverse with the seven of swords and the two of pentacle you cannot be in the flow of life and doing moves and advancing and yes things are moving along because your your devil was preventing you your your beliefs your limited beliefs your disempowerment was preventing you to be in the flow and just making your moves like that but this is finishing this move uh, this month Death. Show me death. 
So you are transforming. Ah, yeah. So you're getting out of a situation, see, being stuck. Eight of swords. So because you're in your head, seven of swords, you're disempowering yourself, you're juggling, something's got to give, I got to do something, but my mind is actually preventing me from moving forward. Now, this is being transformed because you are actually, and under that I have here the two of swords that wants to come out because ultimately it's going to be a decision of who am I? What's my truth? Throat chakra. Uh, six of wands. You're going to acknowledge yourself. You're going to say like, you know what? I've got nothing to prove. I'm, I won't be conflicted anymore. I won't be resisting anymore. Self-sabotaging or whatever. How you were doing it. Uh, but here, you're going to release that. Sun and Ace of Swords. So that is huge clarity this month on your mechanism. Okay? On your shadowy mechanism. Hello, Mr. Black Buddy. Ah, and the clarity you're getting is Eight of Cups, Page of Cups. It's like all of a sudden, and that's why, you know, you had to be emotionally ready. Emotionally ready to acknowledge that you need more. More um, love, peace, inspiration, vibration within yourself. Not looking for it outside of you who's going to give it to me who's going to accept my my cup that would be like uh, a knight of cups in reverse who's going to want my cup do you want my cup oh the knight of cups is like here is my cup if you can't take it lucky for you if you can't too bad okay so he's not looking on who would want to give him a cup or who would accept his cup here, you see the clarity of it, and you're grabbing right away an Ace of Cup. High Priestess. This is something your soul was telling you. The sun. It's been clear. It's very clear. King of Wands. Four of Cups. See, that's not seeing the cup. That's remaining. I've been there, done that. I'm not five years old. I've went through life. I don't see how I can harbor or have even more love within me, for me, just by me. I don't see how I can take that cup. So I'm disempowering myself. I'm not moving. I'm still, you know, uh, stuck in my head and so on. Here, the sun, the King of Wands and the High Priestess. This is like it's so clear. It's obvious. It unblocks your solar plexus. It unblocks the solar plexus directly linked to uh, your soul. That's why the, the, you know, like knowing exactly what your purpose is. <laughs> I'm sorry. And going for it. Okay, let's look at the Six of Swords. So that means leaving behind what was holding you back. Hmm? Six of Swords. It's beautiful. It's like a launching pad of... Uh, It's an expansion. Oh, you want it to go? Ah, okay. Uh, Ace of Cups. I'm going to continue shoveling because it didn't... Okay, it didn't come out. But, all right. Ice. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. All right, that's beautiful. So, moving, you know, Six of Sword, releasing... Uh, bringing finally the mind and the heart chakra and, and making that decision and that effort to move to calmer waters. Here I have the magician, the, high, the um, empress, 
okay? That's going to put you back in your power of manifesting and creating, being inspired, expanding. And here I have the world, the two of, of wands and that ace of sword again, because that understanding is actually going to mark the end of a cycle and open up this brand new path in front of you. Chariot. Success. And we have like that page of wands here with the chariot. Chariot. Uh, yes, you're going to take that new... <laughs> Is there somebody with a question? Okay. Let's look at that. You're going to say, I don't care. I'm doing it. Because I feel it. I am not going to play it safe anymore in my fears and so on. And there we go. Tree of Cups. It's joy. It's release. It's expansion. Ah, my God. Yeah. It's the solar plexus finally free. So, freeing uh, yourself, ah, release. I don't know what word would be powerful enough for this, but you're going to fly. Yes, fly, fly, fly. All right. So, on this, my beautiful Scorpios, I'm going to send you all my love and light for the month of January. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the month of January and uh, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting <coughs> please subscribe to help grow the channel if you want a private reading the description in, is below there's an email to write to me but this month I'm taking uh, a little break to resource and I'm going to take my emails only starting the 17th of January. So just keep that in mind if I don't answer right away. All right. So um, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And on this month, on the 2nd of January, is the new moon in Capricorn. So I'm going to do a little ceremony in that intention of you know, the beautiful focused discipline of Capricorn when it comes to expanding our solar plexus there in our ambition uh, and also uncovering what is preventing it. So this is very typical of that. So there you go, my beautiful Scorpios. Uh, I'm sending you all my love and light and I'll see you next month.